Hey, Tactical Painter, back out in the Suits Crafting Woodshop. Welcome back out to the shop. So this week, just going to be coming out to you talking about a couple of things. I spoke with some folks last week after I put out that video about the uh, bleaching the lotus pods and uh, came up with a couple of other ideas for how to use the bleach and then neutralize the bleach afterward. So I'm going to be trying out a couple of those. There's some things i got to look into. One of the things that a, a gentleman commented was that in order to neutralize the bleach on wood, he will use a 50-50 mixture of water and vinegar, a 50-50 mixture, a one-to-one -one ratio of equal parts, and uh, he'll use that to neutralize wood. And what he'll do is he'll, he said that he goes through, he bleaches it, wipes it down with that 50-50 mixture of, of water and white vinegar, and then he'll let that fully dry, and then he'll come back and do it again. So I'm going to look into that, and maybe that'll be something that I can do a, a soak in, you know, I can soak it and swirl it afterward um, and, and maybe see if that'll neutralize it and uh, you know there's there's always options out there you got to be careful when working with some of these volatile chemicals I know like bleach there's some chemicals out there that if you mix it with it'll actually explode because um, it can have very violent reactions with some things so I'm going to look into that and see if there are other ways to neutralize bleach afterward and maybe there's some good options out there uh, before we start going dipping into hydrogen peroxide which I know that hydrogen peroxide will eat away at the organic material while bleaching it and so I definitely don't want to be doing that. So this week I've been working on this right here this is a pen for a graduate he's graduating from a college that is uh, its main color is purple and gold and so we've got an antique brass editor pen with our G2 conversion on there. So this thing turned out absolutely beautiful, super hybrid. It's got a curly koa section. It's got some spalting in it with a uh, aluminum honeycomb inside of the purple. And this thing just looked really good. It looks really awesome. We'll be shipping that out today. So it's pretty exciting. Uh, really happy with how it turned out. Um, I was going to show you guys this last week, but when I actually brought it on camera, I realized that I had made a mistake and uh, I had forgotten to put the aluminum honeycomb in when I cast it. So I actually had to redo the casting and when I came on camera with it, uh, all of a sudden I, I threw out a few choice curse words, so I just completely cut that section out. <laughs> but uh, redid the casting that afternoon and redid it. So usually I'm able to get pens done within about a week, week and a half, but this one took me the full two weeks to do because I had to redo that casting re-wait for it to cure up and then get it going. Also this week I got out and did some more casting. I was able to get some more stuff thrown into the pressure pots. So you guys have seen these before. These are my Cosmos blanks and I had a gentleman that was interested in these and so I did up three of these and I talked to you about it I think either last week or two weeks ago. Um, I put up my Nebula blanks on Etsy and now I've got the Cosmos blanks. And what these are is they've got the black with uh, the white crystal dust inside the black to create a starry night effect. And now that I've got this wonderful ring light, you can actually see what I'm talking about. I've got that white starry night effect going inside of that. And those look really cool. And then in the top, you can see that I've got, um, it's a red, purple, blue uh shifting powder so this will have to actually shift colors depending on the angle that the light comes from of course with the light coming straight at me i can't change the angle for you um so you can't see the shifting colors so it'll show blue but then when you get an off angle it'll show uh purple and red so these are really neat really happy with how they turned out but what i did unique with these whereas like the nebula blanks i do a dump pour all the colors go in together i dump it in and they just kind of intermix and intertwine and you, you get what happens, you know, you get what you get. With these ones, I have a little bit of control to make some effects in them. And so what I do is I actually I cast this bottom uh, third to a quarter in the black with the white uh, crystal dust. So that goes in the bottom and then I take a popsicle stick and as I'm pouring, I hold the popsicle stick at the level of the resin and I'm pouring onto the popsicle stick with this... Um, chameleon pigment powder that I've mixed in with hollow flake and that keeps it from turning the black too much you know it's the same as like if you go to the coffee shop and they're going to pour foam on the top and they pour onto a spoon in order to keep it uh, from sinking down in and intermixing you get those layered effects um, it's the exact same thing so I pour onto the popsicle stick and I slowly pour in and that keeps the black and the 
chameleon pigment from intermixing. But then I want to create some effects. I want that black to kind of have wisps and formations and stuff. So then I take a barbecue skewer and I go down inside and I actually pull up some of the black. I go down from the corner and I pull up some of the black and I make it cut through and do different things. And so these are going to have some really, really neat effects. I'm really excited. I've got a, a guy on Etsy that's already ordered some of these and these are going to be going out to him soon. He's ordered three and I was so excited with how well they turned out that I actually went on, went in and made up some more so that you guys can order some of these um, because they were really cool. I really like how they turned out. I like how that effect looks. Um, and I'll even throw up some pictures over here, the ones that I sent him, so you can see that these are actually mostly clear uh, with those black wispy effects coming up and through. And with it being mostly black at the bottom too, it's also going to hide your... Uh, your your screw, the screw that goes into onto your bottle stopper blanks, it's going to hide that being black at the bottom, but then the top's still going to be mostly clear, and you're going to be able to get all these really neat effects. So I've got those. Those are my standard two inch tall by one and a half inch wide by one and a half inch deep blanks. But then I started doing some more experimenting, and I've got these now too. And these are a little more than two inches tall um, by one and a half inch diameter. So these are basically plugs, but they're the exact same thing, but you won't have to cut off your corners. You're not going to have to manually make these round before you start shaping. They're already round. You can put them on, drill out your hole in the center, and then mount it into your chuck, and these are already ready to go to get turned, and then you just have to go straight into your designing process. So these are 1.5 inch diameter by 2 inch tall. I also have 2 inch... Um, diameter that I can make three inches tall and so you can do a lot more with a lot more product they're going to be a little spendier because there's more resin in there uh, more product overall but you'll have more options with the two inch round by three inch tall so those are going to be going up soon I've already got these uh, two inch tall by one and a half inch diameter up on Etsy so you can go order these now and I'll be putting out the two inch diameter by three inch tall ones soon but you guys can see that, let me get a flashlight here. My Nebo flashlight. Love this thing. I've found so much stuff that's fallen on my floor thanks to this little flashlight. But you guys can see, uh, maybe you can't let me dim down this light. Ooh, that was the other way. But you guys can actually see down inside of there that that is clear. You can see that light shining all the way through on the inside. Let me grab another one here. Oh yeah, this is a good one. There you can actually see all the way down inside of there, you can see how far down that light goes. That you can actually see um, about two thirds of the way down into this thing and that's exactly what I was going for. Let me turn that back on. And that's what I was going for. I wanted you to be able to see two thirds of the way down. He wanted it to be clear and then um, see through. And so, and I just and I just took some little intermixings of the black just to get that color to really pop in some places because the chameleon pigment is neat because um, it's mostly see through, but once you get a dark background behind there, um, the colors don't really show. But once you hit it with a little dark, those colors really just pop out and they're vibrant. They're really saturated and they're really just beautiful. And so, uh, those are going to be going up. Um, the two inch diameter blanks are going to be going up soon. These are already up online, so if you guys want to get those. And my holographic flakes were actually like right on the end. I couldn't really scoop out a whole lot, so I just ended up dumping. And there was more in there than I could really tell. And so these ones actually have a really high concentration of stars. So if you guys want these highly concentrated star ones, um, order these now because I probably won't ever make them that highly concentrated again. Um, I, if I would known how much was actually in there, I probably would have tried scooping it out, but instead I just dumped it, and there was a lot of stars that came out of that. And so um, these ones are really highly concentrated in the star effects, the holographic flakes that are in there. So if you guys want those highly starred effects, order them now, and you'll be getting these ones immediately. Oh, I got more of the Calico Spalted Maple Burl blanks up online. I don't remember if I told you that last week or not. 
but I got a few of them um, put back online, got my restocking order done. So I've got four more that are that are out and ready to ship. We've got some really, really pretty ones. These ones actually have a lot more figuring than some of the, the previous ones that I've put out. Let's see, where is it? Um, this one, there we go. That one's got a good amount of figuring in it. You can see it right there at the top. But the spalted on some of these pieces is really tight. It's really a neat effect that I've got on a couple of these. The, the amount of lines that it has going through it are really just stupendous. So there's one with with even with some more figuring on there too. So these ones turned out nice. So these are going to be going out to customers as soon as those orders come in, and we'll get those shipped off. So. You just have to go on to my Etsy site. That's Suits Crafting, S O O T S Crafting. Etsy.com. You guys can go pick up those spalted calico maple burl blanks. Uh, we've got those restocked. I've got four more. I've got some more that I'm going to stabilize up here real soon. And, uh, and then we'll get those out. I've got a little bit of time this week. Um, had a little more time today than, than normal, which was kind of nice. Um, today was my only day off this week from my normal job. We're a little bit backlogged in, in what I'm doing at my current job, but uh, I'm gonna get some of these turnings done. I think I'm actually, I think I'm gonna turn up some of these uh, test blanks that you guys saw me talk about, you know, a few weeks back. I'm gonna get some of these turned up. There's a couple here that I actually want to test out and see um, how they would look in some of these uh, Cosmos blanks instead of the blue purple red that I've been using, uh, which is a little bit spendier. Uh, I'm going to look and see if uh, if some of these might work as well as that blue purple red because I've been getting um, it's the ghost chameleon from solar color dust and then these ones are just their standard chameleon pigments and if they work just as well I'll probably just go with these because you can get uh, I think it's 10 grams for ten dollars of this stuff but the ghost chameleon you get one gram for ten dollars and so the amount uh, I'm able to make off of 10 bucks is a lot greater using just the standard chameleon pigment. So I'm going to check these out and see if I can't get them to work, especially this one here. This is the red, violet, blue. I really want to see how this one looks because I think this one will give a neat effect. And so I'm going to be doing up one of those and then there's my other one. I'm going to turn up this red, purple, blue V2. I want to see how this one uh, looks as well. So, Because the red, purple, blue uh, is the uh, the colors that I go for with the Cosmos blanks. Um, it's the, the most prominent colors a lot of times when I see um, galactic effects out in space. You get a lot of reds, a lot of purples, a lot of blues. Sometimes golds and things too. Uh, but mostly reds, purples, and blues. And so I really want to get these ones turned up and get them going and then see how see how they turn out. So that's it for this week. I'll keep that short for you. Otherwise, I know you guys don't want to sit through a whole bunch of me yammering. You know, if I had a prettier face, maybe, but you know, you just got this ugly mug. So I'm going to sign out there. Go ahead and check out some of my other videos here on the sides. Hit that subscribe button in the center. Hit that like button down below. It really helps me out. And if you really want to help out the shop, we're trying to get our numbers up. Um, so that way we can reach more people and, and get some more viewership going. Uh, be sure to share this. You know, if you have other people that you think would benefit from any of the stuff that you guys see here in the videos, be sure to share that with your friends and family and, and get them involved in the channel. So this is Tactical Painter out in the Suits Crafting Woodshop signing out. Happy turning.